so what I did, she, she, so what I did is I went out and I got a blonde Haley and a brunette Haley. Yo, what is up guys? I'm sorry, I know I have not posted in like forever. My Instagram has been absolutely blowing up, people wondering where I am, and honestly guys, that means a lot. It shows you guys care, and it made me want to get back on here as soon as possible. So let's just say I was faced with some adversity, man, um, but I overcame it, it's good now. The road to success is usually not a smooth one, you know, you're gonna make some bad decisions, you're gonna have some failures, and I'm definitely not an exception, man. But the key is to keep going, you know, not let it stop you, man. So I should, get back to posting more regularly and to make up for it all right i have a couple epic vlogs coming soon for you guys all right from the olympia the vegas trip in fact there's so much epic content that we had to split it into two parts so you're about to watch part one here's a preview of part two i just noticed there's a really annoying shadow right about there but you know i'm not perfect i'm not the best vlogger in the world i, I hope you Stay subscribed, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. It is so good to be back. And you know what they say, man. What happens in Vegas stays on the internet forever. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Yo, day one of the Olympia. About to head out. Two hours straight of meeting fans. Like, I love meeting everyone, but dang, man. It gets tiring. I'm gonna guess, like, probably, like, you know, 10 or 20,000 fans are gonna be lined up to see me. Just guessing, like, estimate, you know? Yo, what is up, guys? Is, does the lighting look good? Oh, I'll go. Go subscribe to the YouTube. Like the video, subscribe. All right. Thank you. What's up, buddy? Good, dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Probably the hardest part about this expo. It's keeping my abs flexed for two hours. Awkward, bro. It's when the people they're only here to see Zach, and I'm just like here, like wasting space. It's kind of awkward, man. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, nice to meet you, bro. See what I mean, man? Just just sitting here talking to Phil while Zach interacts with his thousands of fans. Well guys, I'm, I'm just meeting my biggest fan here right now. Came all the way from China to see me. Just great meeting all the fans, guys. Yeah, if I feel like I'm built so small. I didn't even know you were fucking this small and we're like, oh my god, that feels so small. This yeah. We need to get it. We need to get it. Bros, holy shit, bro, John Skywalker was like giant, man. I didn't even approach him, it was just like his gravity just like sucked me in, man. Dude, I'm gonna look so small. You guys are gonna think I'm so small, you guys are gonna think I'm like five foot in real life. Jeez, man, I don't know, that was crazy, bro. You got Connor Yo, what's up, guys? Yo, Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. I, I'm trying. I'm trying, man. All right, guys. So, as we all know, the two most aesthetic things in this world are probably my physique and my golf swing. We're about to combine them together and make an aesthetic overload. Right here outside the MGM Grand uh, Tower number three. About to go and do an influencer domination event. Basically, 
teach some wonderful aspiring fitness influencers how to you know build their following the business behind it we have a freaking all-star lineup man we have joseph rackage speaking we have the the ceo of rsd speaking of course me and brandon speaking yo it's gonna be lit um if you guys are interested in events like this we have a couple more cities we're going to we're going to toronto we're going to chicago and then la so if you guys want to see me um we do fun stuff man we go to dinner afterwards uh it's super fun but yeah if you guys are serious don't sign up if you're not serious about becoming a fitness influencer but should be fun man about to give an epic speech so let's get it Yo, what's up guys? So we're here at Las Vegas Athletic Club, man, where all the athletes go. I'm an athlete, man. I want a nutrition athlete, so I thought I belonged at the athletic club. And also, we heard, just, just word of mouth, it's just a rumor, but it has like the best lighting in Las Vegas right here. All right, <clears throat> back workout, let's get it. So we just got done with the Olympia. Now we came to the Mandalay Bay to relax a little bit, man. Meeting all those fans, just standing up all day, man. It was, it was, it was, it was tough, man. So we just came here to relax. All right, guys, so, so a lot of you might not know this, but in high school, man, I dated this girl named Haley, all right? I think most of you guys know about Ashley who broke my heart. There was also a Haley who broke my heart. So what I did, she, so what I did is I went out and I got a blonde Haley and a brunette Haley to make up for it. Now I have two Haley's, so I mean. Two is always better than one. Two seems always better than one to me, at least. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out by the pool and chill. You know, me and, me and two Haley's, not just one, two. I don't know if I've said this, but there's two. There's two Haley's. There's two of them. All right, cool. I think there's a lot of reasons why guys should work out. I mean, to be healthy is one. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> if you can't pick your girl up and just swing her around yeah, and yeah, yeah. Girl, I'm telling you guys, it's such a turn off. So I really suggest lift weights, do your cardio because it enhances your life in many ways. Yo, what is up guys? So we're here at the, what is it? The golden nugget, the golden... Golden the chicken. Gold, the golden, the golden chicken. chicken. The golden chicken. It's, it's a golden something, man. But anyway, yo, we're here with Limitless EXP, also known as Vincent Valentine, also known as, I don't know, I don't know how many names he goes by. If you guys don't know what he does, he does like, he basically like, what do you do, man? Basically, you talk to girls, man. You talk to girls, and he's ten times smoother than me. Like he like talks to girls, but it's not even that cringy. A lot of you guys probably know who he is, but we're thinking of doing like a like a diss track, man. Limitless, like he's like. Are you down, bro, or what? I'm down. All right, so we should like just ride scum or some shit because I saw this dude at VidCon a couple years ago, and I asked him a rap battle and shit like that before he even reached a million subscribers, and he literally avoided me. And then he just wouldn't even look me in the eye, he would just kind of like put his head down. And this dude didn't even have a fucking million subscribers. I think, like, I want to diss Rice Gum because, man, let's be honest, man, I think he needs to work on the aesthetics. Like, he's looking just a little too skinny. Like, I want to help him out. I want to be nice, though. I'm, I'm just encouraging him, man. I'm encur encouraging him to get to the gym yeah. and get a little more aesthetic. You know what I mean? Don't you guys think Rice Gum needs to get a little more aesthetic? I do. Well, he's not trying to appeal to all the women, though. He's trying to appeal to uh, 12, 13 year old girls. <laughs> Oh, you know what I mean? All right, bro. So, so here's what's gonna happen. All right, so hit up Rice Gum, tweet him, do whatever. All right, however you want to message him, tell him to go to the gym with me. And if he does not go to the gym with me in a month, we're releasing a diss track. All right, you guys got that? So go hit up Rice Gum, man. Bro, I want him to go to the gym. He's trying to get that toothpick aesthetic, bro. He's trying to, he's trying to get that toothpick aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 